The Venus Access Ultrasound, often called as Vexus, is something which is now in vogue. A lot of trainees, a lot of critical care specialists want to learn the protocol. Some of them are already using it in their clinical practice. Now, what is it? It basically starts with your inferior vena cava diameter, then follows with a hepatic vein flow, then follows with the portal vein flow and the renal vein doppler. Looking at all of these four veins, it helps you to understand how much venous excess, how much venous congestion is there in a particular patient. And this may help you by doing a gradation. So you could start from grade 0 to all the way up to grade 3, with grade 0 being minimal or no congestion and grade 3 being very, very badly congested patient. And the protocol starts with the first cardinal rule that your IVC should be greater than 2 centimeters. Then you go to your hepatic, then you go to your portal, then you go to your renal. What is the clinical applicability of this? Well, you can use this to actually help treat your congestive cardiac failure patients. You can use this to remove water on dialysis or you could diurese a patient using the venous sexist ultrasound protocol. You could also possibly understand the cause of acute kidney injury. Maybe treat electrolyte abnormalities like hyponatremia. However, I would like to caution you that there are certain limitations of this protocol. So what are the limitations? Well, the first limitation is that it cannot differentiate between pressure and volume. That means if somebody has a chronic pulmonary hypertension because of which the IVC is dilated, it will not be able to tell you the difference between that patient and somebody who is actually congested because of venous excess. The second problem is somebody with a chronic liver disease, it will be a process which you may not be able to apply completely clinically because we know that there is a significant amount of portal hypertension, hepatic congestion, which is seen with chronic liver disease. And it may not be something which will actually allow you to correlate your ultrasound findings with your clinical picture. Also, it is very, very difficult and challenging to get all of these four veins in your clinical practice if you are not well trained. So that means it has got a learning curve. And the learning curve is not very small. It is a fairly long learning curve to consistently get these veins in a good position so that you could actually place the Doppler probe exactly where it is intended to be placed in. And most importantly, none of the studies done up until now have actually shown a mortality benefit or a different outcome in terms of using a VEXES protocol against the standard of care, which is right now a multimodal methodology of using ultrasound plus your clinical skills, as well as something like a stroke volume variation from a minimally invasive catheter. So I think while VEXES looks promising, it has still got to live up to its expectation in the coming few years. So just have a little bit of understanding of its limitations and then use it. Thank you.